So this week I've started work on the factory building side of the game, and I thought the best place to start would be conveyor belts, to get logs, planks and other things moving between machines. If there are any cool machines you'd like to see in the game, let me know in the comments. These are a few of the ideas I'm thinking about at the moment. If none of this makes any sense, check out my first video, which I've linked in the description. I started by coding conveyor belt pieces to join up when they're put next to each other. This proved a little harder than expected and I ended up spending a lot of time rewriting what I'd done to get it right. As you can see here, at first things were a bit of a mess but I sorted it in the end. I was using the river tiles to start off and then I got to work actually drawing some conveyors. I use Ace Sprite for pixel art which is a really good tool for anyone interested in that. I had to draw 12 conveyor belts in total, one for every possible direction which the conveyor could face and one for each type of corner in both directions. At first the sprites didn't have any shadows which looked kind of weird so I went back and added some. I'm not entirely happy with the colour of the conveyor belts but they'll do for now. So that's done, I can tick it off on Trello and move on to actually getting things to move around the conveyor belts. So firstly the storage building needs to be set so that it will actually start passing on items to the next conveyor in the chain. That was easy to figure out and the conveyors latched on easily with very little work. I really just ticked a box. I then got to work on making logs dispense from storage and started by coding the game to trigger a dispense event every few seconds. This gives a lot of control over how quickly things move along the conveyor belts and I can use it for anything in the game that happens over time, like chopping trees and researching new stuff. Next I drew some logs way too big. And then I drew some logs again which looked better. Once I'd got those sprites into the game I finally got logs moving along the belts. I'll be animating the logs to move smoothly but this works for now, it even stops when the belt is full. I made a little control panel to go in the corner of the screen so that the player has some options. I've just started with a reverse button, which switches the belt to move in the opposite direction. It just pops up whenever you click on a conveyor belt. The code took a few attempts to figure out, but what it basically does is find the end of the belt and just switch the current tiles parent and child, and repeats until the other end of the belt is reached or all the tiles in a loop face the same way. Ironically, drawing a conveyor belt in a loop was causing an infinite loop in the code, uh, which crashes the game, as it was pretty much trying to find the end of a circle, so I had to put in some checks to make sure that wouldn't happen. I then just added a check to see if the path could be reversed and set the reverse button to be disabled when it can't. For example, if any machines or storage buildings have been added, the direction can't be changed. So next, I've got to figure out machines and how they're going to fit in with the conveyor belts. I'll have an update on that for you next time. I'll be releasing a video every Friday, so remember to subscribe and I'll look forward to the next one.